Hi friends, Chrissy here. So let's talk about buying versus renting a property for retail and more specifically antique malls, resale shops, or thrift stores. Let's do that. So currently I am in an 11,000 square foot property as an antique mall. And the thing with buying is you can do what you want basically to the property. If you need to modify it to fit your needs, you wanna paint it, renovate it, do whatever you want. There's nobody to ask permission for unless you're in a facility or surrounding area that has like homeowners association type things for businesses. But most of the time that's not the case. We, you know, we can do what pretty much what we want. Like for instance, during the pandemic, when we were shut down for a couple months, we decided to paint the outside of the building and we didn't have to get permission from anybody to do that. So little stuff like that is a, is a definitely a pro whenever you own the building where if you're a renter, you, if you're allowed to do it, you have to get the proper permission and authorization and probably have, a guideline that you need to go by and follow strict rules. The other thing is when you own it, all the wonderful things that can go wrong with it, like furnaces and heating and cooling systems completely going out, roof leaks, you know, new floors need to be put in, um, the bathrooms quit working, you know, water pipes busting. Um, if I'm talking from experience, it's probably because I do know any of those wonderful things that can happen in your property fall onto you as the, the owner. So if you are not prepared or equipped to handle those type of things or have resources to get them done and repaired, maybe renting is a better option for you. So those are things that a lot of people don't talk about up front, but they are the reality to life. So you know, it just depends. Another thing is going through the pandemic um, in 2020 and now into 2021, uh, a lot of other things were exposed to small business owners. For instance, I have several friends that have businesses in all types of industries, but the ones that rent their properties, they had some interesting conversations and challenges. When the pandemic started, almost all of them, them were shut down and the ones renting had two main scenarios that happened. I had some that their landlords were amazing and they worked with them and they said, you know, we know that your business is shut down and you have no money coming in. So we're going to work with you and let's just, you know, see how this goes and we'll work accordingly with rent. And when you get back open, we can get caught up on the rest. So they were some amazing landlords out there that help these small business owners get through. And now they're all back up and running and that's fantastic. And almost all of them told me that they like paid it back within three months. So that is amazing seeing people working together for the common good. On the other hand, I have business owner friends that rented and their landlords are like, no, your rent is due on the same date and we don't care that you're shut down and have no income, period. So not only was it a horrific time during the pandemic that none of us had experienced before, those small business owners were in a panic of a lot of decisions to make. You know, what's going to happen? How are we going to survive? You know, how are we going to pay the bills? How are we going to pay our employees? Blah, 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 all these things. And then they had the pressure of, I have to pay my rent just to be able to get in to access my business to begin with. So unfortunately, most of my friends that had those type of businesses and were put in that situation shut down. Um, and most of them won't be reopening. So that is a huge sad fact. And that was something that you don't really think about until we were put into that situation that, you know, if you're, if you were in a place that you were forced to be shut down for a long time and had no income coming in, but your bank account is dwindling because the utilities still get taken out, the taxes still get taken out. You know, if you have a mortgage still gets taken out, all the expenses were still going out and nothing was coming in. Well, that can only last so long in any business. So it was nice to see the landlords that work together for the common good and helping, you know, during that time 
And the ones that didn't, well, now they have empty buildings that they're getting no rent from. And unfortunately, the businesses are out. So there are a lot of crazy, crazy things that have happened. So that is another thing to consider when you are thinking about buying versus renting to put your business in. So I hope those help you. Those are my top three things. And like I said, I've been in retail my entire life. We have personally bought properties four different ways. That could be another video, but you know, the sky is the limit and you just have to get creative. And I think as time goes, we're going to have to see entrepreneurs get even more creative of how to make their dreams come true. So till next time, I hope you are safe, happy and healthy, and I hope you stay awesome.